We begin in Nowata, where people are spending a second day drying out their flood damaged homes and businesses. We know tonight one family lost their home in those rising flood waters. News on 6's Sawyer Bussey leads off our team coverage with how the town is coming together to get everyone back on their feet. Volunteers here at the museum tell me when they came in the morning after the storm, this room was flooded with water. They say it looked like a river. Thankfully, most of the artifacts that tell the story of Nawada's history were lifted up above the ground. It's one of our ways of making money. We uh, repurpose memorial flowers. The Nawada County Historical Society Museum has an extra storage space next to their building. There was water on the floor, it came in from the back doors, the front doors. Through the walls, priceless pieces of Nawada history sit on shelves just inches above the floor, which days before was covered in water. The majority of the flowers, those can be replaced. It's history you can't. The museum isn't the only place dealing with water damage. Flood waters rushed into town with a force no one expected, drenching businesses and homes all over town. That was agonizing because there was just absolutely nothing we could do. Nawada Mayor Dana Robinson says she saw her community come together in the blink of an eye. My city employees just are amazing people. Everybody jumped in, everybody wanted to help, everybody was out in the rain. She says city crews and first responders helped keep buildings from flooding, blocked off roads and pulled people from the rising water. We had one family that lost everything. Two days after the storm, as the last of the flood water dries up, the community is still helping each other rebuild. And that, Dana says, is just the Nawada way. In Nawada, Sawyer Bussey, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.